Hey there, I'm gonna show you how to bend the text and how you can create a badge, a circular badge in Adobe Illustrator. But before we do that, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. Okay, I'm gonna start with the easier one, this one. Basically, how you can replace a circle or a something, a line, with text. So, um, it can be done in multiple ways. I'm gonna choose first the pen tool. You can find it here. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna create some lines, okay? Some waves, let's say. Here you can have the wave. I'm gonna deselect the color so it, it doesn't have any color there. And I'm gonna select the type. As you can see, the typography is here. And you just click on the line and as you can see if I approach it then it's gonna create a little wave on the type so I just click it and voila there you go same thing is applied with this uh, circular um, form that I just uh, selected from here the spiral tool wait a sec just need to press up and down to create these elements and you should be good to go. Okay, I'm gonna make it like this. It's the same thing, press T or select the type tool and just click here somewhere. And there you go. We got this magic going on. Okay, so what happens how you make a um, badge? You basically need a circle. We need to work with a circle. I'm gonna create a new artboard, so um, yeah. So you just select the circle, you can go here on the right and uh, long click and select the ellipse tool. I'm going to press and hold shift plus alt and create the first circle. Okay, um, I'm going to press Shift plus X so I can see the outline. This is a little bit more tricky. Uh, you press Control X, I mean Shift plus X, sorry, or you just go here to this arrow and just flip it like this. And you're in the stroke. Okay, so we need to cut these in two. You select the Squizzer tool. You can find it here, usually it's uh, the Erase tool first and then the Squeezer tool. You select the Squeezer tool, you click here on the anchor point on this one and on this one. So this way it just, uh, you know, it cut in two pieces these circles. And now I'm going to select the first circle, I'm going to go to the Type tool and click here. I'm going to enter my brand's name. From here, I'm gonna click on uh, the selection tool and I'm gonna select this, uh, the align center. As you can see here, this one is a little bit more up and this one is a little bit more down. So if I make the text wide, just a sec, and now they're on the extreme points, you can see this part is more down and this part is more up. So I'm gonna make them as center as possible. I'm gonna select the direct selection tool and now I can grab them. You can grab this part when you see that little arrow near uh, the arrow. So this way you can adjust it accordingly. So I'm planning actually to bring this, whoops. So when you see this, when you see the text, it's not good. So because it's just flipped the type tool again. So I'm gonna go back to direct selection tool and make sure it's on that little arrow. I'm gonna push it somewhere around here because I'm gonna create the text at the bottom also and need to have some space going on. So I'm right here. As you can see here, I got the ruler. You just press control R. Control plus R, so the ruler gonna be there. And I just click, press and hold and drag and you can see the ruler. And it's somewhere here. 
Sorry for the other ruler. If you want to edit the ruler for him, in my case, I can't because it's locked. Unlock guides. So I just unlock it. I don't need this. So I'm going to press delete and I'm going to lock it back. Um, I'm going to check where I am. So it's right here. I need to bring this one also right there. So I'm going to select the direct selection tool and push this somewhere here. Yeah, approximately there. <clears throat> I'm going to press this so it disappears. Um, I'm going to select a different typography. So this is the big noodle. I'm going to select it. It's a pretty nice type. I don't know if I did it. Actually, I did it with the, with that one here. I mean, the previous one. I'm going to increase the size of the text. So around here. So this is the max. This is the limit. If I increase more, it's going to disappear. And there you go. I'm still thinking to scale a little bit down and increase the distance like this. Okay, so we got the upper part. This was the easier part. We're going to do the same thing with this. There's actually two ways to do it. It's the lazy way. I'm going to show you the lazy way also. Um, I'm going to create a new copy of this one. So I'm going to delete this and <coughs> Sorry, I'm going to press and hold Alt and then Shift also and drag it down, press and hold Shift and rotate this. And now I'm going to connect them. Press and hold Shift and here they should intersect. Uh, no, not really, not really. We're too... Wait a sec. There you go. It's an invisible intersection. It's like right there. Okay, I got you. From here, I'm going to press the A or select the direct selection tool and I'm going to go here. As you can see, I'm going to pull this in right in the center. Now we're in. The thing is smaller now. I need to scale it up and I'm going to press and hold shift and just drag it approximately where this is. So if you want to make it perfect, then you're going to create another circle somewhere where they intersect I'm gonna shift plus x i'm gonna pull it up here and down here and i'm going just i'm going to place these right where the circle should be so you basically have a grid going on so you don't make any mistake as you can see, this typography got bigger, so I'm going to press this thing right here, the eyedropper tool, and select the size from here. As you can see, now it's fitting perfectly. It should be something like that. I'm going to delete this outer circle now. And you, you can see it goes from here and from here. You also can flip it, transform, reflect. I don't know why I did it. You can do whatever you want with it. All right, this was the lazy way or there's the manual way. You click on this and you, did, you basically do the same stuff as, as here basically. So I'm going to select the type, click here. And now type, wait, what is going on here? Oh my God. Yeah, I know. Star steering, it's, it basically wants to go up. So I need to start. Actually, I don't. I gonna select the direct selection tool and from here, I'm gonna pull this. See that? So this is how it goes. Basically, both little lines are here and it's just Okay, I'm going to pull it where the other one is. <clears throat> there you go. As you can see, it flipped. I mean, this is how it goes. Boom, boom, boom. Like how I did it before, but I did here correctly. This is faster, simpler versus this is the manual, full manual way where you basically do a little bit more stuff all right um 
Actually, I need to create... Actually, I don't. I'm just gonna press this direct selection tool and pull this in, in the center. Let me see if the size is the same. It's the same right now. So I'm gonna scale it up somewhere around this place. I'm gonna copy the size and now we're good so it's the same exact thing it's more manual work this is more simpler and both get the job done so yeah this is basically how you work with badges or how you um you know uh, place text on lines so yeah thanks for watching don't forget to check out the other videos and have a great day bye bye